Do you tell them? Is that, is that, that means in anybody's mind? Do you think? No. No. How are things going in there? Uh, I think everything's at a, at, a, at a gridlock. It's a waste of time continuing to go in there behind closed doors. We are elected by the people. We represent the people. We need to be on the House floor, and we can fight this out on the House floor. I think we need to start voting. Can anyone get to 217? No. Have you spoken to Trump at all about Scalise's health concerns? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't talked with Mr. President. I haven't talked to him. Could you go into those concerns a little bit? You said that you couldn't get to Scalise because of his blood cancer diagnosis, right? Well, number one, I do support Jim Jordan, um, but I also have concerns of, about his cancer, and I say that with tremendous compassion. My father passed away with cancer. And um, I brought it up in the in our conference meeting there. Um, the way I see it is our country is in extraordinary times. Uh, war is breaking out all over the world. That's very serious. Um, we stand with Israel and, and are all watching what's happening over there. Um, we're, our country is continuing to fund a war in Ukraine. Our border is wide open. Um, and we're on the verge of a recession with inflation that's crippling people. And I said it like this. Um, basically, and it's hard to say, but it's real, this is the truth, is when you're in a tight game and there's a lot of pressure happening, you don't put an injured player or a sick player on the field. That's not the right thing to do for that player, and it's not the right thing to do for the team. Um, and, and Steve Scalise's district elected him, and if we elect a speaker, we elect a speaker, not his staff. And that's the reality, and I think that's very important. It's hard to talk about, but it's an important reality. Um, and I, you know, I say that as a person that is concerned about the president of the United States probably having dementia. I say that concerned about an 80-year-old Democrat leader in the Senate. I say that concerned about the Republican minority leader in the Senate that looks like he has many strokes on camera. I say that about any any office holder. They need to be at their best and they need to be at their strongest. And I say that in the greatest respect uh, for Steve Scalise. I want to see him beat cancer. Um, be, being Speaker of the House, traveling all over the country, um, uh, having one of the hardest jobs in the world, the hardest job in Congress, uh, it's not the time uh, for this to happen. Uh, I support Jim Jordan. He is a fighter. He's a conservative. And he also upholds the same policies that President Trump has, America first, and that's what Republican voters all over the country support. Just circle back to what you said a moment ago. No, you said no one can get to 217. Where do you go from here then? We go to the House floor and we get in front of the American people because they deserve to see it. And it's, it, votes will change. In that room, when it's a private secret ballot, They'll change on the House floor when people uh, have to have their vote in public, in front of the lights and the camera, and they can get phone calls from their district. Do you think that we're going to go to the floor today for the first round? I certainly hope so. Um, I think it looks, uh, it's not a good look for the Republican conference unwilling to go to the floor uh, for a vote. Did, did leadership give any indication that that's the plan? Not at this time, and I, I believe in the conference meeting because I'm tired of the revolving door of the same and over and over speeches. If I'm ready to get get it done. Would you urge McCarthy to come back? Uh, if that's what needs to happen, he certainly had over 96 percent of our conference. Uh, it was just 4 percent of our conference that voted to oust him. Uh, but right now, I'm, I'm supporting Jim Jordan, and I'm ready to go to the floor and vote. So, so do you think you should... Kind of an uproar and some yelling? What sound like yelling? Were you there for that moment? Uh, they could have been laughing about something. I, I don't know. There wasn't anybody yelling at each other in any ugly way. If, if Scalise makes the argument, hey, I am healthy to do this, I've talked to my doctor, I'm capable of doing this, I'm fit, what's your response to that? Well, he has been making that argument, and, it's, and of course, he's been very transparent. I have a lot of respect for him, him for that. Being transparent, transparent, talking about his treatment, talking about what his doctor says, but he hasn't beaten it yet. And, you know, my father at one time, uh, there was a lot of optimism while he was undergoing treatment. We thought he was getting better. That's how cancer works. There's good times and then there's really bad days, too. Uh, I certainly hope he beats it, but he hasn't beaten it yet. Wait, was there any discussion of empowering the president, pro, I mean, sorry, the speaker pro tempore, you know, leading potentially the House Republican conference or on the floor passing a short term spending bill, anything like that? Not at this time. I'm certainly not opposed to moving forward. There's no reason not to. Uh, there's a resolution uh, in support of Israel. I think we should be passing that today. 
but we also should be taking votes for who our speaker is. So you, you, you said that uh, Scalise doesn't have the votes to get to 217. Neither does Jordan. Neither does McCarthy. Are there, if you know, if those three are out of the question, what name do you want to see come up into the conversation next? Well, we haven't gotten to that point yet. I think the right thing to do is get on the House floor in front of the American people. Usually, but, okay. usually the lights and the cameras do a lot, and everybody saw that last time we went. You know, Kevin McCarthy had to go 15 rounds. I think the next Speaker of the House should be prepared to go at least 15 rounds or more. Just to follow up on that, what's your expectation, though, when if they were to go to the floor today, you think that Scalise would have more support than expected? You think Jordan would have more support? Like, what's, what's, what are you anticipating? I would anticipate support for Jim Jordan to grow. Uh, you can look at every poll, um, whether it's social media or other polling. Uh, the American people are supporting Jim Jordan. And when representatives who are voted here by their districts go in, uh, go in there and they take the vote, uh, they're going to hear from their districts, and their districts are going to be telling them Jim Jordan. But so is you, there a risk that the Congress would vote for Akeem Jeffries because he has more votes than Jordan or Scalise? Well, I'm sure the Democrats are, are voting for Hakeem Jeffries, but right, we're so not. He will be speaker. That's not, well, that's not how it worked last time. There were, there were 24... Uh, there were 20 holdouts with different names. There were so many for Kate. You can look at the history of the 50. Sure, so you don't think that's.